this is retina imaging channel decoding double layer sign or dls in this video we will understand what dls is how does it form and what is its significance to understand dls we need to first understand the anatomy of the brush membrane it is a five layer membrane which has contribution from rpe to chorea capillaris the first layer is basement membrane of rpe followed by two collagenous layers with middle elastic layer and finally basement membrane of chorea capillaris so now what is important is to understand that the basement membrane of rpe is a part of brux membrane with this background we are ready to understand dls in dls there happens a separation or splitting of rpe from its basement membrane in simpler terms there is separation of rpe from brux membrane so let's see how the dls appears on oct in this image we see that there is an elevation of rpe now in usual pds there is no second line between the elevated rp but here in this picture there is a second line which is marked by the red arrows beneath the elevated rp and this second line is called the double layer sign and it has been created due to splitting of rp from its basement membrane the dls is better understood in this blown out image and there i with dls here too we note a second line beneath the elevated rp and that is very well seen in the blown out image few more images of dls this linear scan oct shows small rp elevations with second line beneath it which is the dls in this image again we see rp elevations with second line marked by the red arrow which signifies double layer sign now are there any types of dls yes dls can be hyperreflective or hyperreflective the dls seen in these two images is called hyperreflective because the space between elevated rp and its basement membrane is clear or hyperreflective hyperreflective dls is seen in central serous chorioretinopathy in contrast if you look at these images then we see that there is hyperreflectivity between elevated rp and its basement membrane hence this is called hyperreflective dls hyperreflective dls is a feature of type 1 cnvm or ipcv the dls was initially thought as a specific sign of ipcv however the recent understanding about dls considers it as a non specific sign which is seen in various retinal conditions hyperreflective dls seen in central serous chorioretinopathy is innocuous and usually not associated with neovascularization however hyperreflective dls may harbor neovascularization or branching vascular network this is all about dls if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button thank you very much